Both the NBA and MLB commissioners said they would be okay with legalized sports betting. Edelman's banging chicks and ending up on Tinder. And Chris Paul's just hating on women. Here we go again. Welcome fans to another edition of the Friday Night Insight. I'm your host Jim Sella. In studio with Jay Dash, Big Easy, Johnny Parlay, Core 4. Rolling again. We're like the four horsemen. You guys remember them? Arn Anderson and a bunch of other guys I can't remember because it was too long ago and I drank too much beer. Uh, what's that, a superhero movie or something? No, that was the wrestlers. You didn't watch wrestling? Yeah, I don't remember. WCW, though. Did uh, you watch WCW? No way. Yeah, this was old school. It was like Arn Anderson, Lex Luger, Ric Flair. Woo! WCW is what the CFL is to the NFL. It's all about WWF. Yeah, WCW was all right for like... 13 months, and then WWE bought them, and it's all been downhill. Downhill. All right. This ain't no wrestling podcast. I would I would enjoy that. Steve Austin has a podcast. We should get on with him, maybe interview him. That'd yeah. be sweet. Come I'd follow love us. to hear what Stone Cold. Stone Cold, you can follow us on Twitter at bet underscore the spread. Like us on Facebook, man. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We could take another subscriber. We only got 40. The day we do wrestling is the day I quit. Well, you could interview Steve Austin as just a person, not a wrestler. He doesn't wrestle anymore. I think he has his own podcast. That's actually. what I just said. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you what's on? that on? We've seen that on something. I don't know, TV? One of those sites you told me to look at. I don't know. I've been watching the Diva show on entertainment about the women wrestlers. <laughs> Let me get in on that action. <laughs> there were some hot. One of those was Ric Flair's daughter. No. Charlotte. Is it fake? Wrestling or is it like MMA wrestling? Fake wrestling. What are you talking about? Miss Charlotte. Is, is it? We're talking about this women's wrestling you brought up, man. Yeah, See, we, I'm about to quit you... the show. We're still talking wrestling. Here. <laughs> Move on. All right, Parley. I know you. Uh, you know some people on the side. I know a couple people. They don't. I don't know if they'd be happy with this. <laughs> They want legalized. A couple people want legalized sports gambling. Right, the government's trying a, to cash in on it. State government's trying to cash in on it. You're taking away a certain few people's livelihoods. There's going to be a couple uh, high high brass. They're going to be a little upset. You know. It's called secondhand income. Tony Soprano is not going to be happy if gambling gets legalized. No, nah, and I, at the root of it, those are the people trying to prevent the legalization. No doubt about it, as it always is. The people that are benefiting from it like that it's illegal in 48 or what is it legal in 48 or 49 49 maybe 49? i'm not sure how many states are there like 50 56 <laughs> now <laughs> well, well 50 i know well, it's legal pluto in is no longer a planet so then we get three more states automatically i think well whatever it is one legalized state as far as i know i'm i'm sure there's another out there like florida's a pretty crooked state yeah Bush they may have some it. crazy ass uh Cheap powwow casinos down there that'll take action on, Probably. I don't know, the cricket championship. They got some Cubans running things on the DL down there, too. But either way, I don't think it'll ever happen. There's just too much brass behind it. One of the. Liking it legal, illegal. The proposal I'm hearing most often is they're going to tax it twice, just like alcohol. The federal government will tax it, and then the state government, they'll, uh, they'll tax the revenue generated by each gambling establishment. Yeah, juice will be up to about 40%, and. That yeah. won't change anything anyway, so just keep keep with your local book, man. You're supporting that guy's kids anyway and his, uh, his drinking habit. Well, Rob Manfred said, uh, he's the Major League Baseball Commissioner, gambling in terms of our society has changed its presence on legalization, and I think it's important for there to be a conversation between me and the owners about what our institutional position would be. I mean, it sounds to me like he's pretty open to it. Pete Rose has been banned from baseball in the Hall of Fame because he bet on his team to win. Now the Major League Baseball Commissioner is saying they should just legalize gambling. So do you put Pete Rose, if, if gambling's legalized, does that mean Rose is in the Hall of Fame next year? No, because you still can't gamble when you're involved in the game. That's right. Football players can't gamble. They can't even play fantasy as yeah, far you as think I know. There's no NFL player that bets on a game that he's in? Well, that. You think the Patriots players aren't betting make on it. every game they're in? I know who Russell that Wilson make took it. last week. Le well, I guess it's not took illegal, the over, maybe. but it's against the NFL rules. Yeah, I get it, but they do it. Well, Pete well, Rose, he's, him, he's, he's got a black eye, and it ain't ever going away. They'll never let him in, but uh, if Pete I were Rose. him, I'd say, screw it, he's the man. 
I, he can be in any Hall of Fame in my eyes. I love Pete Rose. He's in the All Thuggery Hall of Fame. Oh. First first inductee, Pete Rose. He's Leads all... baseball and hits. Dashes, I know nothing about baseball. Why is he a thug? Because he just plays bets. No, he's a thug because he ran that dude over in an all-star game that just to get the run, dude. That's he not thug. He smoked yeah, that that's guy. That's not thug. I don't think that's that all grit. Thug, he's on the all man. grit team. I loved it. I no, love him. Pete Rose, not a thug. Not a thug in the least. He's just a bad mother. He's a true gangster. And NBA <laughs> commissioner. Adam Silver, I have talked to the commissioners in other leagues about legalized sports betting. I leave it to them to make any public statements they want to make on it. I will say that certainly all of them are interested in having a better understanding of the issue, and I know have assigned people in their organizations to study intensively the issues as well. So he kind of just dodged the question there a little bit. What is it to these commissioners anyway? I mean, what they're not benefiting either way. So they would what's probably their stake in it? somehow get money from it. The NFL is a non-profit, non-profit organization. They don't even get taxed by the government. You know they're going to get in on some legalized sports betting. They already do with Vegas. I guarantee it. Yeah, Goodell gets kickbacks from all the sports books. That's why the lines were so bad this year. <laughs> well, I don't know. It, and all it does is takes money out of the uh, local booker's pocket. So uh, those are the only people concerned with it. And if it's legal. I don't know anything about it, so it don't concern me. But if it gets legalized, Goodell might end up with Jimmy Hoffa. He may. Never know. But you don't even know where he's at. Hanging out with Elvis. Believe. <laughs> well, John, I know uh, this is your favorite app on your iPhone here, Tinder. You, you see what happened lately on Tinder? What the hell's Tinder? Tinder is a dating app that Julian Edelman ended up on because he banged some chick and then passed out in her bed. This is all alleged at the moment. He may have There's just a picture. I, I so see the how picture. How do you end up oh, on ten, Tinder, though? Is this girl trying to get a date by saying No, she's... she was on a date, but you can post pictures to it, and she just decided to put it on there anyway, just for the hell of it. Cause she she could have been lying, a, though. She could have so, yeah, she... sat beside him and said all that. Yeah. But the pic said, look good. just bleeped Edelman, no lie. Well, if she yeah, said so no she's lie. she's promoting... Banging Edelman as one of her qualities for yeah. dating. Well, dudes want to bang nice. a chick that Edelman wanted to bang. He's a Super Bowl champ. Wouldn't you want to sleep with a chick a Super Bowl champ wanted to sleep with? I know Easy would. That sounds well, gross. He, he was dating a model as of last week, so I don't know. I might screw that up, but other than that, it's really like a, it's a non-story. It's just these dudes need to find, I don't know, social media is the worst thing that ever happened to an athlete's social life. Yeah, they get caught doing no everything. No perks. There are no perks to the job anymore. Rock stars, uh, athletes, you, you better just watch it and check your cell phones at the door. That's my policy. Well, dude, after Edelman ended up on that app, he also was on Deadspin and Sporting World News on Friday for allegedly attending, it says, a frat-style college party with an 8-to-1 ratio of women to men. Who went there and counted all the men and women to figure out this ratio to be able to report this story? Did like somebody, like a producer, junior producer, seriously roll up, not even get a beer, count everybody in there, snap a pick of Edelman, and just roll out? No. I, I could easily tell you got a go ratio without counting, just yeah. with my eyeballs. It's an estimate. I can give you, I can give you in seconds, yeah. girl to guy ratio. Eight to one, that's pretty strong. It's probably an exaggeration. But, uh, Where were these parties rather, when I was in school, Cal, you? <laughs> I, I'd rather be uh, next to a girl passed out drunk on Tinder than in rehab like Johnny Football. It's true. Both tough situations, but... <laughs> so, but uh, one's less Joey fun. Adam's been did nothing wrong in my eyes. Nah. He, and as far as we know, he fell asleep, passed out, and this this was her idea of a joke. But uh, Yeah. Lots of, that's some street cred I, that there. That wouldn't shock me. Street cred for Edel, Edelman. That just makes him a, a harder target, commodity, harder yeah. commodity. Please believe. Now chicks want him even more. That little punk. Women are like that. <laughs> well, Johnny easy. Football, he'll, he will, he'll be the next one to show up in that situation. I mean, he's had countless, I'm sure, of that situation happening. But what's his deal? Is he getting, he's going to the RHAB. Yeah, he's in rehab. Uh Easy, you think he's banging anybody in rehab? I'm sure there's some hot chicks in rehab he can end up in bed next to. I One of them got to be on Tinder. It's sad, dude. The Browns, the Browns completely are their beat anyway. They are what? They're Gordon first. Mess, Gordon messed up again. Manziel's in rehab. Like I, I everyone predicted it. Dash, was that 
Justin Gilbert, Dude's the cornerback that they took early in the first round, yeah. and then they took Manziel later in the first round. Yeah. And just like Easy said, now Gordon suspended another year. They're just a mess. I mean, he, it. he's going to rehab, but it's not a rehab for drugs or anything. He's just trying to get himself right. It, it talks about he wants to take care of his family first and whatnot and all See, this stuff. I, I think that's yeah, because uh, he's probably straight up blasted on yeah, but something, dude. dude he chose to go. He, no one no forced way. him to go. He didn't choose to go. His people told him that it would be a good idea to go, that's and the I, team I probably just, pressured him to go because if he didn't, he his he was losing image with the team, with the league, with the fans. He needed to get his life straight. They need him well, to pan if, out. They spent a high pick on this guy. If he doesn't pan out, their whole freaking top end of their draft last year was just a wash. Well, if he's just a waste that. of space, he wouldn't go. He wouldn't care. He, he's already rich. He doesn't need money. That salary's not guaranteed. Only the signing bonus is. His he family's already, rich. He already blew it that It doesn't matter. He didn't have to play football. His family is completely rich. But he's Johnny it's, football. It's he's uh, not Johnny Papa's rich. It's a straight up, just a publicity move. I don't think this dude got a problem. I've seen people that go to rehab and... Uh, you can't play football if you need to be in rehab. Well, we couldn't play football. Did you see him in that last right, start? Right. At the end I mean, of the maybe year? he does need to go. I mean, that, that, was God awful. that was the first start of his career. Hey, give him I a seen break. Tommy Maddox play his first starts in selling insurance, and he did better than that. So I don't want to hear it. Well, I didn't see any. I didn't see him that on wasn't the sidelines. His first start of his career. I didn't see him on the sidelines scratching and shaking and throwing up into a, a bucket. Oh, he was so. scratching his junk because I think he got crabs from that same girl Edelman slept with. In fact, it's possible. But in fact, I don't even think this dude parties like he says. Like, all his social media accounts show him partying and well, stuff. Do you think well, he was he doing, in, what's he in rehab for then? Doing coke in the bathroom in Vegas. Didn't it's you see like, the picture? It's he like had these... a rolled up dollar bill in the bathroom. What else do you do with nah. a rolled up dollar bill in the bathroom? What picture? You didn't throw, see the picture? Throw that dude that gives you the paper towels after you urinate. It's like these that celebs. That dude gave us Doritos. It's like these... Heidi tidy celebrities who go to rehab because they're like, I was drinking three beers a day. It was my own personal hell. Nah, that ain't nothing. No, believe me, I've seen people who deserve to be in rehab and have went to rehab, and they don't look like Johnny Football, fresh-faced, looking like a million bucks. I don't know, did you see him in that Snickers commercial? It looked like he was on a little bit of skeet there, dude. He's, <laughs> he's all freaking out doing aerobics with like 30, 40-year-old women. He's all skeeted out. Wow. He had some sweatbands on. I send my he didn't best. even know he was Johnny Football. I send my best it's to it, Johnny. It says here he's, huh? he's going to rehab to figure out his value system. What does he what does so that mean? He ne- what, he, tell me what that he means. He wants to be a better family member, friend, and teammate. All then that. just do it. Why do you got to go to yeah, rehab to do it? Do just it. stop because doing what you're doing. It's tough for him to do it. He's a partier. His parents are rich. He's been spoiled his whole life. He wants to party. Hey, Johnny Parlay was a partying harder than anybody I ever seen in my life, okay? I've seen this kid do great things at parties, amazing things, the life of the party every time. He calmed down just whenever he wanted to. He said, you know That's what? Right. I'm done with it. Instead, I'm going to go make my own wine at home it's and sit there and cans. get Netflix <laughs> start and a drink farm my fun. wine, start a That's farm right. fun, slang it's real true. estate, and, and just make bank, dude. No more partying, make bank. It's truth. Parlay can turn it off like off and on Boom. like a switch. And I think yeah, Johnny Manziel up. Johnny can do Manziel's the same. still young. He can grow up too, man. Yeah. He don't want to grow up. He's a Toys R Us kid. He doesn't want to. That's why he's doing this. There's a million toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. Well, I bet Jay, there is. Johnny Manziel, he'll be back. He's, he's going to like, you know, like junior rehab where they eat like C- muffins Celeb all rehab. Day. I'd actually like to go there. Did you see the place? Or what about that place on TV, Passages Malibu? Is it that place it's with that weird, just, creepy attic guy? Probably just code word for he's, he's going to spend a week at the Playboy Mansion. That's Maybe. Right. That'd be cool. The ranch. The, the bunny ranch. The Pittsburgh Penguins are, I mean, the last time we talked about them, they've been struggling, lost, I don't know, six of the last ten, somewhere around there. They're only up and up. Two in a row right Moving now. Moving up, 2-0, oh, two shutouts. Flurry's got seven shutouts on the year. That's a team record. He leads the league in shutouts. Uh, right now, I'd have to say either Flurry or Latang or the team MVP. It was nice to see Sid get back, you know, scoring a goal last night. If we could get him and him and Malkin moving the way they should be, everything else will just fall in place. I, I mean, I'm, and saying, I'm not trying man. to put all the pressure on them, but in reality, it's there. You got them if you, go to, you got a chance. Yeah, if you got to dedicate two guys to cover in each one of them when they're on the ice, there's so much ice time between the two of them. You just wear the other team out. 
physically. And I don't, I don't know. Crosby seems so frustrated. I don't, I don't get it. It's just getting to the point where they better start bringing in cups or it's going to be a bad legacy for both of them. Because it, you're right. He's the Peyton Manning of hockey right now, man. All the stats, one cup. Two stars, one cup. I mean, if you got a, you got a, I don't know, what would you say, like a top 10 goalie, I would have to say. Not any further than that. Flurry? Yeah. Not, uh, I'm not saying top five because he's not five. I'd say I'd put him in between five and ten. Yeah, I'd say seven at great, least at, at the lowest maybe. I'd have to look at a list. You got Malkin and Crosby, and you got a goalie who can hold his own. you got to have cups. you got to have better, more than one. Especially in the last five years, the way they just kind of got dominated in the playoffs over and over again. Teams would come and just sweep them out. They were up, what, 3-1 on New York, and they came back and beat us 4-3. That's unheard of in hockey. It's time. It is time. Crosby and Malkin need to step up. The, Crosby keeps demanding Kunitz on his line. The Pens want to move somebody else into that spot. He doesn't want it to happen. Well, if he's going to get what he wants, he needs to start producing the results that they want. I know who's producing results. Your boy, Flurry. That's what I'm saying. Flurry's Love team him. MVP right Consecutive now. Consecutive shutouts. He got like a shutout streak going at like 131 minutes or something right now. It's as simple as as long as he plays good, we'll win. Well, the right? Penguins are going to have to start winning two nothing, three three one, three two games. So for us to have a shot at the cup, we need Flurry to keep this going, especially in the playoffs. Where last year he played good, but you know in recent years before Career that he has struggled. I think so. Franchise shutout. They gave him that contract, ongoing. man. I think that really kind of took some weight off of his shoulders. I don't know for that for me. When it comes to that guy, I, no I gotta see you in the playoffs. I gotta see him step well, up in the playoffs. Listen, we have he, a we have a goaltending prospect right now in the AHL. He's actually leading the league in uh, goals against average, and he's like had four shutouts in his last nine games. I think his name's Mitchell. You can a, say that Flurry. So we have prospects if we need it. But I, we're sitting good at goalie right now. Flurry was not the reason we lost in the playoffs last year. <laughs> the, the team played terrible in front of him. And a lot of the times that it looks like he played really, really bad, it was the team playing really bad in front of him. That final game we went to it was horrible. Yeah, that was bad. It was oh, so man. boring. Well, I enjoyed the Pens it. looked like garbage. Well, they did because they lost. Another sport. That's another sport that Parley excelled at. Hockey. Even though I never played actual ice hockey, but on the blades, on the Senecas, you couldn't see me. I was flying down the concrete so Were fast. Were those Hills rollerblades or Ames rollerblades? Senecas, I think... I think those were Hills Editions. Hills. Hills I had edition. Ames because my blades, grandma worked for Ames. Rollerblades was actually a company of inline skates. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I had Seneca inline skates. Okay. And I was I was unstoppable. Whatever they sold at Ames <laughs> is what I had. And I hated it. I wanted I, to go to Hills I, all the time. They had pretzels and slushies and popcorn. Am I popcorn. a spread solo that never wore inline skates before? Really? You've never the worn big, inline skates? Never. Well, I don't think they make extra large wheels, so I don't think you'd be able to ride them. Either. I don't, yeah, I would not. That's why I never wore them. The big easy is the How Gill. <laughs> Have you Death ever Hockey. rode a BMX bike or did you just go from like a tricycle oh, to no. a mountain bike? No, when I was Ten younger, speed. I used to rip up the BMX track here in South Park, but All right. nowadays I couldn't even fit on a bike. We gotta put together. I'll tell you, yeah. we'd have to make, we'd have to machine a special seat for me. I know. That. Dude, I seen one at Walmart with a big old fat man seat on it. I thought of you, easy. We need to put together a. Uh, <laughs> that's not very nice, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, no, I, I need one of those. We. Uh, I told him we're never gonna ride a bike again. It better. I'm gonna be comfortable on that. <laughs> shit. The spread what? deck hockey team. We gonna get our picture taken. Put. We'll play uh, the X. I'm the, the goalie. X morning shows deck hockey team. All right, I'm the goalie because I I'll break my collar. You ain't big again. enough to be goalie. People be shredding you up. Dude, I'm so good at goal. You have no. You can I only have goalie equipment in my basement right now. Hole. It's like putting a, like a toothpick in front of the goal. Dude, Flurry's only ten pounds more than I am, and I'm taller than he Dude's is. Dude's got bulk though. No, he weighs ten more pounds than me. What are you he's, talking he's about? He's wide. He's a little he's bit wide. wide. You kidding me? We better get the His extra large pads. His nickname's the Flower. Are that taller, doesn't exactly. He's taller than you. No, I'm taller than him. Yeah, so he'll be heavier. Yeah. He's ten pounds heavier and shorter. That's right. So he's bulked out. But dude, he's no bigger than Parlay here, and I could throw Parlay over you. Parlay's agile. <laughs> Parlay, you <laughs> nimble see me like in a that. cat. They call me the brick wall. <laughs> Johnny, the cat brick wall Parlay. About sixty days to go to opening day. We should uh, go down as a spread field trip. 
opening. Well, I don't know if they're ho- opening at home this year. Does anyone know that? Oh, I have no clue. I thought you had season tickets. You're dead wrong. JK 47's parents gave up their season tickets. They're fed up with it. They said Sweet. Pedro Alvarez at first base. Neil Walker's getting traded. I don't Andrew believe McCutcheon's out of here. Right I'm done. It's I'm just, done with it. That's things all lies, out people. The no, they really mouth. did get rid of their season tickets, though. Why is that? They were done. They're done with it. They're done with Pirate Baseball. That makes no this sense. Is a so they had, time how long did they have these tickets? I, I don't honestly know, but that's what J.K. told me. They had them last year? They've, They've had, had, had them for 23 years. years. This maybe not first. that long, but maybe like at least five years, five to ten years. Is this their first year giving them up? Yeah, they're done. They did. You got it. They don't even want them anymore. They just canceled them. They didn't even oh, sell them or anything. They're just hot. Done oh, they're not even, oh, my goodness. Yeah, they just the stock is the done. highest it's been in 20 years. Yeah, and they're trying to extort everybody that's been loyal to them. Yeah, the that's it. I think that they're, they're mad with the ticket price increase, honestly. Pirates. Well, that's what happened. I still got that schedule from last year, so we'll check, uh, we'll check the pocket schedules Thank when you, they come easy. out this year. Yeah, Thank you. Done nothing. And it done well. They lost last year. Yep. Well, all, then maybe, 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 maybe they would have won that wild card game year. again last year. I would have been like, oh okay, but now nah, they get smoked. Uh, they'll be back this year the again. Card. Yeah, I know. Well, well, it's hard to win a wild card two years in a row. That's just one game. It, the first year they won it, correct? Plus, they made they, it to the first round. Ra- or the first year the fans won. Then they should have won first fans. round. Yeah. 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 But the first year the fans won that. Hey, no. Come on. First year, Yins won. You gotta that think game. they went up against Baumgartner, who was pretty much unreal. Yeah, yeah. The World Series MVP. Unreal so what? this year. So what? So what? You, you can't beat that guy. It's one game, man. Anybody can win one game, and when you not got the, the box, not this year, <laughs> they didn't. But yeah. I mean, they were just as good this year as they were last year. I think they just didn't win that game. Yeah, it comes to baseball exactly like J Dash said. It's a coin flip. When you run into a good pitcher, especially you know, like you said, Baumgartner was killing it, but killed it. It's tough. But they'll be back. Doesn't matter they'll how be in that game are. again this year. I mean, I think that's something we can look forward to. And uh, <laughs> I hope they I just think there's win some, a division. I, I, I see. I don't see it happen. I just think that the hospitals are loving it because they're having so many heart attacks. And that's just breaking in the health care money on that date. Because you can just always look forward to playing that wild card game. And just all the stress that goes through <laughs> your, your body on that day. It just always happens. It'll be a day off of work I need to reserve to call off because it'll be on like a Wednesday or Thursday night. I'll post up with the Big Easies. We'll eat good and we'll have a good time, win or lose. That's the all. That's all I look forward to. Big Easy puts up all the posters. He makes it feel like it's a a man cave over there up in Realton, and it's just uh, it's just how it works. And then I kick the door in when I get out of work. Come in, going bra bra when they're losing, and yep. you all look like you're about to stab me. So I just roll. Bad you know, vibe, Jim. When the Pirates make the playoffs, it's it's they're a, already it, down. It's eight like runs. A, it's almost like an eclipse happening or something. It only happens every like. Once every six years. Twice Once every 22 twice years. Twice every two years. Or whatever, yeah. Every it's, 22. It's an, it's an occasion. It's a night not to be taken for granted, believe me. But uh, real quick, uh, on a golf note, my uh, senior golf, the spread senior golf analysts from California giving me some information on Tiger Woods this week. He's he, beat. He's he, garbage. He kind of just folded up again. He's hurt. And uh, folded like origami, my friend. After chipping like me around the greens. Yeah, those are pretty... And absurd chips. That's something that a first-year golfer does. I don't but know but what's what? Going what on. No, everyone's talking about Tiger Woods, but no one says Phil Mickelson misses his second consecutive cut. Uh, I was that's asking you about that earlier. Too. We talked yeah. about nobody. Well, no, I'm talking about the media. No, all, right, well, Every, the media. all you hear is Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. No one, Phil Mickelson's beat nuts too. We're man. the real we media here. Yeah. The spread. The spread. Mickelson, hit us up yeah, at Fed underscore the spread. Tell us why you suck right now. Yeah, you're garbage, Phil. Garbage. I want to. I want to. Lefty shift the garbage. Phil Mickelson. That's what the headline should be. Hefty lefty takes another deucey and Please doesn't leave. make the cut. Garbage. This dude's. He's terrible. Don't hate on Tiger. Tiger will be back. I think he'll maybe pull down one more major. Over under one more major for Tiger. Oh. Over. He's getting the record, baby. He's gonna get a bionic back. I don't he's know. So what, rich. The Indians believe that. I don't know. I think he's done. One more. One more for. Not not done because he old time he, sake. He, he can't do it. He can do it, but his body ain't gonna let him. So he's gonna do it. It's, it's sad. Oh, Tony, gonna he's gonna get a fake sad. back. I mean, he's I gonna be the Tiger. first I one I love ever. Tiger Woods, but I love every other golfer too. It doesn't even matter. Dash enough. is gonna donate his spine to Tiger Woods so that he can get five more majors. I don't like Tiger Woods. I thought he was your best friend. 
You're dead, bro. You, need play, to, you play it every day. Tiger Uncle Bruce Woods got golf. beat by Tiger on the golf like course Tiger I heard last golf, week, so Dad's a little game. angry. Yeah, Bruce. He's not happy. You beat Uncle Bruce at golf, and I don't uh, like you anymore. But Uncle Bruce won Coach of the Year, I think. Yeah, but that's no Tiger Woods golf. I mean, when you get smoked by Woods on the course... Well, speaking, speaking of smoke, our running back got uh, 12 months probation. Levy on Bell, 12 Le'Veon. months probation, facing a possible two-game suspension. So, and him and what's his name, Randall didn't the Randall for yeah. the Cowboys. His uh, charge was dismissed. dropped. So, beat nuts. Blunts was dropped. Randall was dropped. Le'Veon Bell, you're beat nuts. <laughs> yeah, he went to ARD, did the right thing. He must not have cooperated. Always cooperate. Well, his was a DUI too. He told the cop he didn't know he wasn't allowed to drive stoned. <laughs> what a dumbass. Good stuff. Why would it's, you do it's, that? It's, it's probably, he probably meant it. Well, free Le'Veon <laughs> Bell. We're making free Le'Veon <laughs> Bell shirts. That's it. Free Bell, folks. 12 Thank months for well, will wear probation. it. Pouncey will free Hernandez <laughs> and Bell. He don't care. Murderers, drug dealers, he Tom, loves oh, them no, all. We don't want Bell to start hanging out with Pouncey. We don't want that stuff from happening. Please believe. Well, thank you guys for coming in studio. Thank you fans for listening. You guys can follow us on Twitter at Fed underscore the spread. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. We're getting up to 40. We need to get to 100,000. Fans, you got to get on this. We need to go faster here. 40 followers to freedom. That's it.